bourbon review time. Yes, sir. Welcome to another bourbon review. Yeah, we're uh, at the Colab by Notion, beautiful downtown Willoughby. Yes, sir. Uh, and we have a, a new bottle here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Bourbon Heritage Month uh, still. Mm-hmm. And so mm-hmm. we are going to, you know, let's just back this up. Let's back it up. I am actually really excited about this review. Um, I Same heard, here, so Makers 46 is probably the very first uh, finished whiskey that I ever really enjoyed. Um, I'd had, I'd, I had had a few before that I just didn't like. Yeah. Um, and then actually Debaco, when we first started the podcast, he's like, oh, dude, all I drink is Makers 46. Mm-hmm. I'm like, really, dude? I'm like, I don't know. Uh, it doesn't sound, I mean, it's and, Makers, uh, you know, it's it, like, eh, hey, whatever. Yeah, right. And, um, but I tried it and I was like, dude, you're right. It's actually very tasty. Um, I feel like they did it right. So uh, I had heard that they were coming out with a cast strength. Because mm-hmm. if there's my one bitch about it was that it was just kind of light. Like 46 For sure. is just kind of, eh, it it's mm. like 80, I don't know. Yeah, somewhere like close to 90 probably. Yeah. Nothing nothing crazy. Um, and you know cast me, strength. I like, a, we like, to I like have a little more bite to it. Absolutely. I think we'll get that with this. So we have, this is 109.6. Okay, so it's up there at uh, the, the 110 mark, and, mm-hmm. and that's exciting for me. Um, my, my preferred is like the 104 to 110 is what I've been saying mm-hmm. recently. Yep, it's absolutely. Like my favorite proof range. So this is a good proof right here. Yeah. Uh, this is the cask strength. I didn't realize. Um, we found this at the, the local, you know, liquor store down the street here. Mm-hmm. It was behind the counter. So it's like, yeah. Hey, let's give it a go. Right. Yeah. Um, what do you think about that bottle? This bottle's nice. Yeah. I like the 46 bottle. It's good shape. You know, it's different. Yeah. Um, I always love, never a huge Maker's Mark guy, mm-hmm. but I always did love the wax. I always the thought wax that was really is very cool. cool. Yeah, it's very unique. They got their look there. Um, this is cool. This is different. Um, yeah, all the, well, you finish yours. I'll, all right. I'll talk about it. No, that's fine. <laughs> that's pretty much it. You know, it's like definitely a cool bottle. Simple, yeah. nothing crazy. Yeah, I, I do like that the, um, all the Maker's Mark, like, uh, private selects or the limited editions or, and all that kind of stuff. They have the same unique bottle mm-hmm. and by unique, I mean, it's not the, the normal, so not the normal. Yeah, exactly. Makers bottle. Um, it's a little taller than, than the makers, but it's still got that good red wax. Mm-hmm. Um, I like the little stamp that they put on it. And so, um, yeah, I, I think it's pretty cool. Um, and then on the back, they, they kind of tell you about the stave profile um, which is pretty neat. It's pretty cool. So I guess it was not. So originally, when they had this, it was only at like their. It's like their at private. The, yeah. yeah. Like yeah. So it's, where it's available. So now it's like a, it's a limited, obviously. It's, right. Yeah. It's I, very I hadn't and, seen uh, it. I'd heard that they were doing it, um, but I hadn't seen it. So yeah, when kind you, of snuck when up you on said us. that you found it, I was pretty excited. Oh yeah. Because he said he's like, I get the maker's mark behind the counter, and I'm like, he's like, it's cask strength. And I'm like, oh, hmm. maybe check that out. I, yeah. I didn't even know. And you know what? To be honest, too, uh, we've done a couple of the uh, different private selections or, mm-hmm. or limited editions, and we have not been disappointed. No, they've been really good. They've been really good. The, uh, was it the RC? Was it the, the RC six? Um, and then the uh, honey suckle. The honey suckle. I had the. I think I had the. I had a sample of the uh, grandma's kitchen. Yeah. Which is pretty good. Yeah, I, I hadn't had that one. So yeah, somebody, a person I work with, yeah. their husband uh hooked me up a little sample of it so yeah pretty damn excited. good yeah let's give so? this bad boy a pour let's rip her open i was waiting for That's it what she said. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever found in the wild uh a slam dunk do you know about the slam dunk no so on makers they call it a slam dunk every once in a while you'll find because these are all hand dipped Okay. And so somebody will, sometimes they drop the bottle and like the wax is like down to here. Oh, so that's a slam dunk. So if you find oh, a slam okay. dunk, yeah. I'll keep an and, eye and on that. The, I can't remember what they call the other one that is where they barely dip it. Oh, okay. They, they call that something else. I don't know. Um, but that'd be kind of cool to find too. Ooh. Nice pop. Got it to pop. Good pop. Um, that sounded good. That could have been a new sound effect. I know. I just recorded what I just did and replayed it. No big deal. 
Ooh, give me some pretty heavy pour. Hey, heavy pour is a good pour. That's right. All right. So. So we have here. What's it look like to you, Steve? I'd say it's good bourbon color. Oh, yeah. Right off the rip. That's what I can see. Um, doesn't look so too yeah, dark, actually. Yeah, it's kind of yeah. lighter. And like I will say, it is bright in here. It but is. that shouldn't matter. Um, drippies are pretty decent. Mm-hmm. It's a little darker than normal makers. Yeah. I would think, if I remember correctly. It's been a while, but uh, just kind of glancing at it. Um, but it's got a good color to it. It's got a good um, maybe rust to it. Mm-hmm. I don't know. A little copper finish. Mm. Yeah, it looks good. Mm. Go ahead and give that the uh, give the old nose. The old nose. If you're ready for it. I'm always ready for it. Oh, so that was interesting. So I'm making my approach with the old schnoz here. Mm-hmm. As I'm getting closer, it's smelling pretty sweet. Then you get that ethanol. Definitely got some ethanol in it. And then you get. As you should with the cast strength. That's right. I don't know. I'm getting something sweet, maybe like a. This is like uh, a banana or something. Ooh. Uh, could be some banana. Could uh, I don't like some, a, some kind of fruit. Yeah, there's, there's definitely, definitely like, has a sweetness. Like to when it, I right? think of banana, I think of like a Willet pot stilled, mm-hmm. and like that's just so overpowering banana to me that like I that can't you even can't smell catch it. it. Yeah, uh, it's just rough to me. Um, so I, I'm not getting a ton of banana. Maybe like it's hints of it. So like you, get you know that. in the trail mix when you <laughs> yeah, have like yeah. those little yeah. like squared off pieces That's of That's what you would be fruit, expecting to get. Oh, okay, yeah. That's kind of what I feel like it smells like. Okay. And like yeah, I'm getting that, some sweetness to like it. Nutty. Yeah, so like there's a nutty Oh, that's a good call. Like it almost like almost like a trail mix. Trail mix. Yeah. Um definitely get like a I don't know if it's supposed like to. a caramel or like a toffee type thing. I don't know, it's it's sweet, so I can't yeah. really tell. Hmm. Smells really good. One day we'll get good at this. We have a lot of gases. <laughs> Man, I could smell a lot of things and not with I know, not the hell I'm right. smelling, but it's fun to do though. It smells good. I like it. Does it does smell good. I'll give just water it a, taste. a little bit. Yeah, let's give her a taste. All right. Cheers. Cheers. That was interesting. Oak. Oak for sure. Up front, it's pretty smooth, and then all of a sudden kind of it lingers a little bit and kind of hits you a little bit harder. Uh, the first sip at least. Huh. So mm. so I get oak up front, mm-hmm. and then it gets sweet. And the finish kind of goes away pretty quickly. Yeah, it's there, and like then it kind of just... Mellows out pretty quick. For a cask strength, I guess I was expecting more of a, although, although now that I'm sitting here talking, I can, like, it's almost you can like feel an it. extended I can, release finish. I can, I can feel it, like, on the, uh, I can feel it on the throat. That's what she said. Um, Good job. <laughs> thank you. I was, I was ready for that one. Um, but, yeah, it's interesting. There's so many different levels. It kind of, yeah. like, hits you, like, it's smooth, and then it's kind of a little hot, goes away, it mellows out a little bit, then it comes back again. Yeah. Yeah, it does. See, that's what I'm, that's what you're looking for, though. That's I mean, at good. least I like the way. Yeah, that's a, it makes it a little more complex. It's yeah. it's uh, you're, I'm not really. It's got layers to it. Mm-hmm. Like an onion. Like an like onion. Shrek. <laughs> I just wondering if you're gonna get that. <laughs> of course. I'm pretty sure I just watched it a couple weeks ago. Mm. Uh, yeah. So it's like sweet oak, and then. Not sweet oak, I guess. Like, yeah. like the sweetness goes away, and then it like completely vanishes. Then it comes back, and now I feel it again. And then it comes back. It's like, it's like, hey, hey, mm. hey, I'm here. I'm still here. Hi, guys. Mm. It's me. This is interesting. I like this. I like the different. I like the complexity of it. Mm-hmm. I like that it's just so all over the place. Yeah. Um, man, I. Yeah, I like this a lot. I'm. Uh, it's keeping me guessing. Like my What's taste the thing? buds so are it's going like, crazy right now. So, I kind of so 
you know, what the what you smelled before with like that trail mix type thing, like mm-hmm. a, almost like a, a nutty type thing. Um, right. I, I can't really, I'm not gonna be able to pinpoint to what nut I could taste here. <laughs> Maybe a, uh, like a pe- peanut. <laughs> Probably be the most basic one we could go for. I was thinking I something know, a little. Right. I don't know. Let's go for something a little more fancy sounding. <laughs> a, a pecan. Uh, oh, a pecan. Um, I don't know if that's really what I'm tasting, but it sounded see, nice. See, it's hard with pecans because whenever I think of that, I think of like pecan pie, and that's super sweet. But if you actually have you ever had like a regular pecan? Yeah, they're not that sweet. No, I mean they're. I, I don't know. No, they're not. <laughs> they're not. Pecan pie is like just like so good. Sugar. It's my favorite. So good. <laughs> We could go into pies real quick, but I'm not going to do it. Um, Should we do pie reviews for Thanksgiving? Fuck yes, we shan. We shan. <laughs> we, we shan. shan. We should we for sure. We shan do the pie review. <laughs> um, but this is very tasty, man. I, I like this one a lot. Yeah. And I'm going to go ahead and say that the makers I've been ha- like trying yeah. lately has been, they've been crushing it. They really have been. You know? Um, this is should, good. I would be interested to do a, a standard shelf maker's. And see what that tastes like, just because I haven't. You had a couple. Months I did ago a few months ago. It was a wedding, and I had I yeah, had a lot. And you of said it. you enjoyed it. I did. Right. There wasn't mm-hmm. many options for right, like right. for any eh, type of whiskey or that, anything. So I'm like, you know, goes. but I did enjoy it, mm-hmm. and um, it wasn't like I didn't hate it. Yeah. But this. Yeah, this is uh, all the special, like all the different blends and everything that we've had recently. Man, they've been they've been really killing it, man. This this is all good stuff. So let me read this now. Go ahead and read it. Uh. So, oh, it does actually say what it's supposed to have. Okay. Uh, Maker's Mark 46 cask, cask strength. It's kind of hard to is, say. Cask is a tough thing to say. Well, cask is okay. Strength is okay. But when you put them together. No, it's, it's, that's the thing. I'm, like, cask strength. Yeah. It's like, no. Yeah. Super you complex. cast. Just like this. Just like the drink. The drink is complex, like the so word. It offers amplified notes of caramel, which I don't. I didn't really I get didn't the really caramel get too much. Caramel. I said like a Stone toffee or fruit. something. Like, Stone fruit? Yeah. Maybe that's what? Maybe that's trail mix fruit. I don't know. Yeah, oh, stone. Probably not. <laughs> fruit. Uh, baking spices. I've got a little spice in there. Uh, a little bit. Warmly radiating outward and satisfying edge of tongue finish with hints of pipe tobacco and cinnamon. Cinnamon. Pipe tobacco. All right. So now that we've read it, we didn't get any, we didn't say any of that. Mm-hmm. But that doesn't mean we're wrong. I'm tasting a lot of stuff here. I guess I could go with cinnamon a little bit. I think at the at the end, maybe after it sits for a second, or like a, as it's going down, Not maybe. That much though, I don't know. <laughs> it's good. It is good. What I what I I mean, I think we both kind of said it multiple times now, but I think what I really enjoy about it is that it's got the layers to it, and mm-hmm. and you're, it's like a freaking party in your mouth. That's the best way to put it. I think. <laughs> I think you just crushed it with that analogy there because it it's it really is. I'm telling you, as I'm going to like to take a sip, you get it, and you get it hits your nose. It's got some sweetness to it. It's mm-hmm. smooth, mm-hmm. and it starts just explosion of just awesome. I don't get pipe tobacco at all. No, I mean I get the like the. I mean it's cool. Like the, the 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 oak and like the the wood, but it doesn't taste like tobacco to me. No, I don't get that. But, but hey, you know, I haven't smoked a pipe in a long time, so <laughs> I did this or this weekend. I had my uh, corn cob pipe, right? Just sitting on the front porch with your top hat. Obviously, <laughs> kind of sounds awesome. It does. <laughs> <laughs> I always loved the smell of pipe tobacco. Oh yeah. When we were younger, we used to see people smoking pipes, like we had grandparents a- and things like that. Or like I don't even know, but that smell was phenomenal. When I was in the Marine Corps, there was I was roommates with a guy. Uh, that smoked a pipe all the time. Really? Yeah. And it was like this, like almost like a, it wasn't a corn cob pipe, but it was shaped that way. Yeah. And he would just be hanging out outside. You just don't see it that much anymore. I've never said. Well, okay, man. Well, whatever you say. It's a lost art. Yeah. Sad day. Yeah. All <laughs> right. Uh, value. Value. You 60. were the one that yeah, so picked this up. It was around $60. Okay. Yeah. Plus tax, obviously, but right. so we'll say sixty. Sixty is what it cost. Um, okay. So yeah, that seems about fair. I think so too. For outrageous. something like a limited yeah. edition bourbon here, I think it's a uh, hmm. you know, limited release. You know. Yeah. So yeah, sixty is pretty good. Um, 
man, I like it. So it's time for the score. You don't score until you score. Until you score. That's right, baby. What do you got? You're going first this time. All right, I'm first. Uh, so yeah, just to kind of recap, um, big fan of the Maker's Private Selection bottles. Mm-hmm. Uh, all these limited editions. Um, it incorporates like the classic Maker's wax with maybe like an elegant bottle. I don't know. Um, it's not. I your think so. It's a typical the 46. Wine yeah, I think it's you know, it's I a like cool. It. It's very different. I like yeah. the shape. It's got good curves to it. Oh yeah. <laughs> Um, I, the n- looks fine. I mean, there's nothing too remarkable. I don't even know why we ever even take that into consideration because it all looks the same. But it's I just it's something fun. we do. That's um, just our thing. The nose is great. It Again, really is. The nose is complex, and then once you drink it, it's like I said, it's like a party in your mouth, man. Like taste buds are just going freaking crazy right now. They're happy. Um, and it's got that. At first, I was disappointed with the finish, and then it hits you, um, like, way on the back end. So, uh, I'm all into this. Uh, 60 bucks, I think, is reasonable. Mm-hmm. Um, certainly not cheap, but it's not outrageous for what you're getting. Um, so, all in all, I'm going to go... Uh, <sighs> it's a tough one. I'm going to go 8.5. Okay. That's good. I think I went up 0.3 since I started... Talking about my score. Yeah. I was going to go 8-2, and then I kept like talking kept going. myself. You're like, ooh, this is actually pretty damn good. Yeah, I think 8-5 is a good score. I mean, um, I could drink this a lot. Yeah, for sure. And I'm right there with you on everything. Um, I'm a big fan of this one. You know, you obviously you said the bottle. Um, I like I like that bottle just in general. I always love their, their wax. Mm-hmm. I like the different shape, you know, as opposed to their regular bottle. The value, yeah, you know, like you said, it's a little pricey, but sixty dollars for something that's this limited. good is limited. Yeah, right. So, um, man, the nose on it's phenomenal. Yeah, it's, everything's complex about this, mm-hmm. and um, I like the, the party in your mouth is a good way to put it, man. You take a sip, and it's just boom, 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 different levels of great shit. Um, so that being said, I think I'm gonna go a little bit higher. Because mm. I forgot what you said. You said eight five. So I was yeah. like, uh, I'm gonna go with an eight seven. Because I really do like this one a lot. Um, now, did you talk your score up as well? Or I did. Because so originally I was a little bit lower, but then I think you actually talked me into it. Not when <laughs> not with your score, but with oh. what you were what you were saying. And I'm like, you know, that's right. Right. Damn straight. It's right. good. And then I took another sip, and I'm like, yeah, we're gonna bump it, this up a little really bit. Good. So eight seven. All right. It's really good. Yeah. If you can find it. Which I think you can. I'd uh, like to try and find another bottle. Well, I saw it there the other day. It's still there. Oh, really? Nice. I was there on Friday. Okay. Because I went there on Tuesday. I don't remember. Anyway, <laughs> it's still there. Check it out. Um, if you get a bottle, I would say get your hands on one of those. One of these. It's phenomenal. Yeah. I'm yeah, a I big fan. Phenomenal is a good, uh, a good descriptor. It, it's really good. I'm, I'm definitely going to get a, uh, a bottle for the house. It definitely it's what you're looking for, too. Yeah. It's at 109. It's in that yeah, range. Yeah, I would agree. You know? I would agree. It's not so hot that you're like, all right, I got to put an ice cube in it. No. Or I'm going like, to only take a, a half a pour at the end of the night. Or, um, you know, this is, I could drink this and be happy with it and stick with it. It's that smoothness, and then it's got that bite to it. It's just everything yeah. that you want. I think it's yeah. it's a lot going on. And I, I love that. I love the complexity of it. I got to say. I might that. need to go higher. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you're done. I know. Maybe. Uh, yeah. No. Well, well, no. So eight, eight five, five eight, eight seven. seven. Yep. Good score. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh all right. Anything else? That's it, man. That's the all review. Right. Well, let us know if you guys have had this, what you think. Um this is a really, really enjoyable bourbon. For sure it is. Yeah, I'm excited about this. I might have another glass. <laughs> absolutely. Um, it's still full, so we got a lot yeah. to go. Um, all right, so yeah, let us know if you've had it, what you think. Uh check us out on www.thetalkingdads.com. Uh, new reviews are posted every Wednesday, or mostly every Wednesday. Um, but yeah, I'd uh, be interested to see what other people think about it. Uh, make sure you subscribe on the YouTube channel and check out these videos that we make. Um, and of course, subscribe to the podcast. Uh, yeah, that's it. So that is the review, 8587, and uh, see you next time. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.